What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about the cantina and how we can cook or prepare our own custom made meals. There's a couple of things that we got to understand before we get started and we're going to use that as building blocks in order to understand what we're going to be doing in just a moment. It doesn't matter whether you pay with money or pay with points or even use a voucher. Cool thing about vouchers is that it pays for the meal for your entire group, but it does use up one of your vouchers. The other two options, pay with money or pay with points, just use whichever one that you feel you have the most of. It doesn't really matter. The canteen menu gives us several options to choose from. The custom platter is how we're going to be making one of our own meals. We'll get to that in just a moment. We'll start with the chef's choice platter. That's one of the pre-mades that gives us access to fresh ingredients. The chef's choice platter is always made by taking all of the fresh ingredients that we have and it throws them into one pot. The fresh ingredients are always randomly generated, so there's always a chance that you won't get the ingredients that you want. It also, each fresh ingredient gives you half a star of activation chance. So if you have six fresh ingredients the way we do now, you'll get three stars of activation chance. You have a health cap of plus 50. So with six fresh ingredients, you'll get plus 50 on your health. So moving on, you have the meat, the fish, and the veggie platter. Meat always provides attack up, fish always provides defense up, and vegetables always provide elemental resistance up. You'll see an L next to the elemental resistance up here. That just means large. You have small, medium, and large. Each increase in status effect is increased by two ingredients. So two vegetables give me elemental resistance up small, four give me medium, and six give me large. We'll get to the, all of that in the custom platter, but right now those are all the basics. The next several platters that we have to choose from are all based on the type of ingredient that we're using, or rather the category. So you have five categories of meals. The hunter platter is the courage category. The healthy platter is the resilience category. The challenger's platter is the vigor category. The comfort platter is the acumen category. The gunner's platter is the artillery category, followed by several drink categories. So let's check out the custom ingredients that we can choose. Whenever you're making your own meal, you can choose up to six ingredients after a certain point in the game. Prior to that point, you can only choose four. So you'll only have access to make certain food skills. We've already covered that adding four of a specific type of ingredient allows you to choose your status effects. One more time, meat gives you attack up, fish gives you defense up, and vegetables give you elemental resistance up. Unfortunately, drinks do not add to your status effects. All they add is food skills. Those have their own category in the food skills. In order to check out your food skills, you'll just click the touchpad on your controller. So here we'll see listed our skill categories that we have. There are five food categories and several more drink categories. Right now I only have two, but I believe there are four total. So. You have Feline Polisher, Feline Rider, and Feline Slugger in the Courage category, also the red ingredients. So, it requires two Courage ingredients to get Feline Polisher, four for Feline Rider, and six for Feline Slugger. So on and so forth for the rest of the categories that we had checked out in the pre-made screen. The last two are for beverages. I wanted to talk a bit about the categories of ingredients that we have. So when we were looking at the food skills under the touchpad menu, we were able to see the different food skills that we could gain from these different categories. Now it's time to understand how these categories work. The categories of the ingredients are listed from the top down in the same order as the touchpad. So from top down we have the courage category followed by the resilience category, then vigor, then acumen, then artillery. The last two that I have are perception and fortune and those are only listed under the drinks category but for now we're just going to focus on the food. So let's say we wanted to go for a food skill called feline black belt. Feline black belt is listed under the vigor category and it's also the second one down which means it uses four vigor category ingredients. It doesn't matter whether they're, they're meat or fish or vegetables. As long as they're in the vigor category, I will get feline black belt. 
Now that we have feline black belt, that allows us to have two empty ingredient slots, which we could select something else. Let's say we wanted to do feline polisher, which often speeds up sharpening time. At this point, we could again select any category we wanted. Because I chose two vegetables for this particular skill, I already had two vegetables for my food skill of feline black belt. So now I have elemental resistance up medium because I'm using a total of four vegetables. And this allows me to meet my criteria for food skills. The only issue here is we unfortunately don't have very much activation chance. In fact, we have none at all. Ultimately, you'd want to choose a combination of ingredients that allows you to both have activation chance and the food skills that you desire. This is how fresh ingredients impact our meal effects. You'll notice I have four fresh ingredients and I have plus 40 health. I get plus 10 health for every fresh ingredient that I use. There is a cap of plus 50 health and plus 50 stamina. I also have two stars of activation chance because I have four total ingredients. You get half a star of activation chance for each fresh ingredient that you use. It is possible for your food skills to be assigned to you even with no stars of activation chance. However, that's extremely rare. The more stars you have, the greater the chance of you obtaining the food skills that you desire for your hunter. It's also important to note that the way you choose your ingredients is going to alter your status effects. Here, I have four total fish and two total vegetables. Just by choosing armor crab over tainted fruit, it changes my status effects. I go from defense up medium with my armor crab to defense up small because I chose a tainted fruit, which is the vegetable. So just because I get the same food skill of feline medic, even though I'm choosing the same ingredient, it does alter my status effects. It can be difficult to juggle your status effects and desired food skills while trying to keep in mind your activation chance and the amount of fresh ingredients that you're using so you get positive health benefits. It can be quite a challenge to make the best meals that you see fit, but you are always rewarded whenever you make a meal that you prefer with one of the cutest videos in all of video game history. Thank you for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.